Choosing between blenders, render engines, EV and cycles is a big decision. Let's break down both engines to see where they shine. Understanding the basics. EV. This engine works in real time, like game engines. It's fast and great for quick previews and animations. Cycles. This engine focuses on realism and accurate lighting. It takes longer to process, but delivers high-quality results. EV. The real-time powerhouse. Now, let's dive into the pros and cons of EV. Pros. Speed. EV is super fast, perfect for quick previews and changes. Interactivity. Changes to the scene show instantly, making it easy to tweak things. Tune shading. EV excels at creating cartoonish styles. Gaming and animation. It's ideal for real-time rendering, making it great for games and animations. Cons. Realism limitations. EV's renders are more cartoonish and less realistic. Limited ray tracing. It lacks advanced ray tracing, making it less suitable for complex lighting. EV is best for gaming animation, graphic design, and illustration. Cycles. The photorealism champion. When it comes to realistic renders, Cycles takes the spotlight. Let's explore why Cycles is the go-to choice for lifelike images and how it's used. Pros. Photorealism. Cycles excels at creating highly realistic images with accurate lighting, shadows, and reflections. It's perfect for architectural visualization and product rendering. Global Illumination Cycles handles global illumination and complex lighting scenes exceptionally well, resulting in lifelike lighting and shadows. Ray Tracing With advanced ray tracing capabilities, Cycles produces realistic reflections and refractions surpassing EV in this aspect. Materials Cycles' materials are incredibly realistic, making it ideal for rendering surfaces with lifelike textures. Cons Slower rendering Due to its reliance on ray tracing, Cycles takes more time and computing power to render images. It's not suitable for quick previews or animations. Interactive limitations the longer rendering times make it challenging to achieve real-time interactivity, unlike Eevee. Cycles shines in creating photorealistic renders of buildings, interior spaces and products. It's perfect for showcasing 3D designs or prototypes realistically and visualizing how ideas transform into reality. Choosing the right engine. It all boils down to what you are trying to achieve with your project. If it is photorealism and rendering time isn't a constraint, then cycles will be a great choice. But for quick renders, previews and animation tests, EV is the best option. Why EV? For quick previews, interactive modeling, and animation projects. If you're aiming for a stylized or non-photorealistic look, when speed and real-time feedback are crucial, why cycles? For high quality, photorealistic still images and architectural visualization. When you need precise global illumination and ray tracing effects. For projects where rendering time is less critical, you can afford longer render times for exceptional results. I prefer to use EV for my modeling, texturing and rendering process since I prefer a more stylized render in the end. However, most Blender users prefer to use EV during the modeling process and to set up the rendered scene. Then, switch to cycles for the final render, making the best use of both engines. If this video is useful to you, please consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching.